All right. Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to my channel, Divine Mutual Tarot. I am your reader, Annetta, and we are going to tap into the energies of Divine Feminine and the Karmic, okay? We're going to see what's going on in their <clears throat> situation, relationship right now. Please keep in mind that these energies are general. This reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless, okay? All right. We're just going to hop right on in. That's too many, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, can you give me a little energy of the divine feminine towards the karmic and disconnection? Her own karmic, I, I feel the need to say that. Okay. Okay, well, here we have. Ooh, we have the lovers popping out. Mmm, you in love, divine feminine? What are the leading energies of the karmic towards the divine feminine in this connection? We have thoughts. Okay, I like this energy. Y'all could be vibing. Y'all could be vibing. Ooh, and then we have mature men at the bottom of the deck. So this divine my anime female house. Yeah, this this feels like a connection that you guys are vibing. Um, just working out, rocking out. This feminine is in love with this karmic here. This karmic is thinking though, mature men thinking about the future. This karm this karmic could be older than the feminine. Okay, or there could be a father figure. Oh, I heard you, spirit. Okay, for some of you guys, feminine, you could look up to this karmic as a father figure. Okay, um, daddy. Okay, I heard that. Okay, this karmic, yeah. Karmic could be taking care of you, feminine. That's the six energy, Gemini energy. Very passionate. Be very passionate towards the karmic here. Yeah. Yeah. This karmic is very strategic here. Mm -hmm. Very strategic. Ooh, I felt that energy. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the divine feminist challenge in this connection? What is, thank you, new love? That's the challenge. It says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, lovers in love, new love. Yeah, this could be new. It, it, <clears throat> I don't know why it has occurred in my throat. It's making me feel as though feminine, you're leaving a, a love situation to be with this karmic. Mm -hmm. Because new love is a challenge here for you. This is new with this karmic here. You're leaving a situation. This is for some. You're leaving a, a, a previous situation to go towards this karmic here, but it's an issue here for some of you guys, okay? All right, that's what I'm feeling. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the challenge in this connection for the karmic? Okay, I'm going to take them like they flipped out like that. Worth waiting for is a challenge. And it says, divine timing is at work in your love life. Here we have, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And then we have romantic feelings. And it says, your feelings are real and worth exploring. This all came up in the challenge for the karmic here. This is why the karmic is thinking about this connection with the feminine. Not so much. They don't feel. They got to see. They, they're, they're in the way anymore. They got to see. They got to see if this is going to grow into anything with the feminine here. It's making me feel as though this karmic is impatient. Wanting to get the, the show on the road, the ball going here. But there's a hesitancy in this connection here. It's making me feel as though because feminine, you have prior obligations or prior relationship that you have to wrap up first. And then you two could come and move forward. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. It's coming up as a challenge for this karmic. And it's making me feel as though this karmic is growing impatient with you. It's not, it's, they want to be with you. Romantic feelings is here as a challenge. Okay. They're questioning the, the romance in this connection here because you have a previous relationship, situationship that is still ongoing while you're dealing with this karmic. Yeah. Uh huh. Bottom of the deck. We have getting to know each other is a challenge here. This is new. Okay, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. It's a challenge because this connection right here is new for you, feminine. 
This is a new connection with a new karmic. And this is, this has came about because you're wrapping up something else over in the past. Here, a past connection here. Yeah, you're in the process of it. This is for some of you guys. And for others, you just now gone through it. Okay, still dealing with the residuals of wrapping up that cycle with this karmic here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this karmic is very impatient here on waiting to see what will come from this connection with you, feminine. Okay. All right, let's get some um let's get some advice. Let's let's use these. Okay. What is the advice? For the uh, feminine in this connection. What is the advice for the feminine in this connection, spirit? What is the advice for the feminine in this connection? It's making me feel as though this karmic here is an older gentleman. And they done been through this, the love phases or the phases of love before. So they already know what they want and they want it now. It's you, feminine, that you still have to decide. Okay? Still have to get over a past relationship because a new love is the challenge here, okay? You want to be with this karmic here, but it's something that's holding you back. This is for some, okay? All right, what is the advice for the feminine in this connection? Please and thank you, my love. I'll take them. The ones that hit the table, I'm not taking all these. Got a lot to say, spirit. <laughs> but we're gonna we're only going to take the ones that hit the table. And it says... Prosperity lies ahead. Okay. That's the new moon in Taurus. So you could be a Taurus. And then we have take take time to breathe out. So this is take time to woosaw here. Feminine. It's feeling wound up here because you have a decision to make between the two. Mm -hmm. You got to meditate and concentrate. Okay. Communication is key. You got to talk. You got to talk about how you're feeling towards this karmic or you got to talk about what you're going through with this karmic here. Yeah. Uh-huh. The prosperity lies ahead. So, you know, once you relax and once you get your mind right and your decisions made, you know, take time to heal, you know, you, you're going to be able to move forward here. You're almost there. It's making me feel. Okay? All right. What is the advice for the karmic in this connection? Please and thank you. What is the advice for the karmic in this connection? Thank you. <laughs> we have two. The answers you need are coming. That's the full moon in Gemini. So you could be a Gemini. And then, do you believe in the impossible? That's the blue moon here. Yeah. See, you know, the answers you need are coming, karmic here. Yes, because it's making me feel as though this feminine is, is, is going through the process of transitioning here from one relationship to another. But you're just tired of waiting. She's dragging her ass. Energetically. This is what I'm feeling, energetically. You still feel, you still feel the ties to a previous connection here, feminine. And it says the end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay. That's the full moon in Capricorn. So we have new moon and full moon energies here. So that's an up and down, back and forth energy here. Trying to close something else so something else can begin. That's the death energy. I'm getting that energy here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Grounding energy is here. You need to ground yourself, feminine. And this is what you're doing. This is what you're doing. Yeah. And this karmic is patient. Or this karmic is running out of patience, I should say. Okay. Let's get a um let's get a message from spirit. Okay. Let's see. What is the outcome? Let's get an outcome message. Yes. Let's get an outcome message. What is the outcome message? What is the outcome message for the feminine? Yeah, let's get an outcome message. I heard you out of here. Thank you. Extraordinary. You are extraordinary feminine. And it says there's a wild and impromptu uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. Oh, yeah. 
this is what you're doing. This is what you're doing for yourself, okay? You're going after what it is that you want, what it is that will make you happy, but you have to just go through the process, okay? All right. What is the outcome message for the karmic? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the outcome message for the karmic? I'll take this one and put over on the table. And here we have intuition. This karmic will use their intuition about this connection with you, feminine. And it says, each person's role to the inner Lord is extraordinarily, extraordinary, excuse me, and personal. How liberating to visit inside and sense moment to moment what is needed. This is what this karmic is doing, especially with this thoughts and mature man. Mm-hmm. Because the answers that they need is coming. It's coming from the inside out. So this karmic is going to know exactly what they want to do and how they want to do it with you. Okay? Outcome is invite help. Okay? Get some type of um, advice or counseling. Dealing with this connection here. Okay? Somebody could give you some information to guide you towards the answers that you seek. Karmic. Because the answers that you need, they are coming. Okay? All right, let's hop right on into the tarot then. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What can you tell? Thank you. <laughs> hey, man, energy. Virgo energy. Aries energy is right here for me in the first position. Mm -hmm. Being a stalemate, this karmic is, yeah, because they're tired of waiting. They've been hanging around and waiting too long for you feminine here. I told you this karmic is waiting on you. And they're growing impatient. Okay, so now they got to figure out what they want to do with you because you're dragging ass. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What other message do you have about this connection? What other message do you have about the connection? Please and thank you, my love. New love. Okay, I heard you, Spirit. For some of you feminists, this is, this, this is a different kind of love. This is a different kind of feeling that you get from this karmic. Thank you. Ace of Pentacles. Abundance is here. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. What's this? And the chariot going after it. Ooh. Mm. This is cancer energy moving forward into abundance here. Yes. You're being guided to do so. This karmic is being guided by intuition here. There is no holes on these rings here. There is no rings in this chariot energy right here. So this is being guided by spirit. And this, this karmic is using their intuition as to move forward, balanced here. Either with or without you, feminine. It's made me feel as though feminine, you're going to take action towards this karmic here because you see that there can be a new abundant cycle here or there is a new offer. Abundant gift is being given to you. Okay. Yeah, this is a gift. Either this karmic is giving you a gift or this karmic is a gift to get out of the old and into the new. This is how come new love is a challenge for you, feminine. But it, this falling right up under this, over this ace of pinnacles and the lovers. Okay, so this is a new love that is abundant here. But you just have to um, let go of the past and move forward here. And this karmic is tired of waiting here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me? It's karmic. Okay. One of you guys could be a cancer, too. Uh-huh. All right, what else can you tell me about this connection? This one? Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, dedication is here. Okay, want to put in the work, time, energy, and effort into this connection here. Moving forward here. Oh, the Eight of Nine of Pentacles. Oh, this is comforting. This is comforting. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles. So the able to the 10. So this is long term. Okay, this is financial support. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I told you this this this, this karma could be older than the feminine. It could be taking care of the feminine here. This is for some. But then we have the seven of cups here. Choices. Options. Here. It's making me feel as though this karma have a choice and an option whether they want to move forward with you. Feminine and, stab and stabilize a long-term committed relationship with you. Do they want to put in the time, energy, and effort for that? Because worth waiting for is a challenge here for this karmic here for you, feminine. Okay? Because they don't know. Because options and choices is here now. Okay? 
which option of choice do they want to move forward with? You're being a, a stalemate. And they also, too, is looking at this relationship or the situation with you from a different perspective now. Okay? Wondering if it's going to be something that they can invest in long term. That they can get a return in their investment is what I'm hearing. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me? Let's get, let's get a couple of more. Okay. All right, Jean, thank you. Let we have a couple of more. <laughs> Here we have the Six of Swords. This is moving away from mind games and fuckery, resolution to problems here. And then we have the Egg of Swords. Restricting thoughts, trapped in thoughts, fear too. Hell yeah, with the hangman and the Eight of Swords, this is trapped in fear. This is not moving forward because of fear. This is also too overthinking here. Okay? Overthinking the problem or the solution to a problem. Here. Here at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful energy, grounding energy with the Nine of Swords and all these things. It's making me feel as though with that fear here, with the Nine of Swords here, that fear is here. But that fear is going to be overcame, overcome. You want to overcome the fear. The fear of the outcome of this relationship here. Mm -hmm. This is this karmic. Yeah, yeah, because they're going to move forward balanced here. It's like they're going to put cost, throw caution to the wind, okay, and go for it with you, okay? This is for some. Okay, ooh, I heard you, spirit. For some of you feminists, this karmic don't know if they're desired by you enough. This is why you're hesitant, do you have, do you feel the passion with them? They don't know. They're trying to use their intuition in order to see. This is why they're thinking too much. It's overthinking here. Okay? Because romantic feelings is a challenge here. Do they even want it anymore? Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify. Let's use these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the hangman, please. And thank you. Clarify the hangman, please. Thank you. Here we have the two of cups. See what I'm saying? And the three of wands. This is looking around to see if there's something else out there. If there's another connection out there. This could be you or this could be the karmic. It's making me feel as though the karmic here because they are tired of waiting. And here we have the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is this karmic that's looking at other options here. Because they wait, you're waiting, they're waiting too long for you. They waited too long. They waited long enough, is what I'm hearing. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify the ace of pentacles. They're going after new offers and options here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Look, the ace of cups. I can't make this up. They're going after new options and offers here because they waited too long for you, feminine. Because you couldn't get over somebody from the past here. Wow. This is for some. And for others, okay. I, okay. I heard this is a newfound love or a newfound um, desire for you. Feminine. Okay. After waiting and looking and seeing. Now they're looking at this connection from a different perspective and now they want to move forward. This is for some. Mm-hmm. So it's a 50-50. Half the group. The karma wants to bring this together and move forward. The other half, they looking at other options here. Uh-huh. Because they waited long enough. It's making me feel like, yeah. You had them on. You had them on, on ice too long, feminine. Yeah. All right. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Yeah. It's making me feel as though y'all going to, yeah. The, the, yeah, for, for some and for a lot of you guys, you, you, you're going to come back around into a fresh new cycle with this karmic here after a pause. This is for some. This is a lot of you guys. That energy is here. Thick and strong. Yeah. Okay, what, um, let's clarify the chariot. Let's clarify the chariot, please. Thank you. Look, the queen of cups. 
Beautiful energy. Yeah, going towards love. Okay, they come. And, they, and and also, too, this karma could be coming towards you, divine feminine, because of your self-love. You have the ace of cups and the queen of cups here. There's a lot of love here. With the lover's hell, yeah, you love this karmic here. Okay? You're coming. You're coming back around. You're coming back around to this karmic to have a brand new beginning after making this karmic wait. Yeah. Yeah, this is for some. I must say, this is for some. This is for some. You know, this is a general reading, but this is, if this was a personal reading, yeah, you're going back around to this karmic because you you finally realize that this is what you want with this hangman energy being your first energy out. Yeah, you finally realize that you want this brand new offer and opportunity with this karmic, okay? Because it is very abundant here. Moving forward, balanced here. Mm -hmm. Positive moving forward. What's this? The hair fit come flipping out. You see that? Okay, Taurus energy is here. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's see, let's clarify the um let's clarify the hurricane then. What can you tell about the hurricane? Thank you. The world. Fixed energy here. Cycles wrapping up. Wow. This is also too traveling. Yeah, you're moving towards a new, higher commitment with this karmic here because you realize that this is what you want after a very long pause in making this karmic wait. That's way too many. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, they said it's the thank you. <laughs> they said it was coming. Look, the magician, Aries energy. Mm. Manifesting a long term stable commitment with you. Yeah, yeah, this is what happened. The, yep, yep, with the two of, two of swords. I mean, the two of wands here. Yep, yep, they said bring that out. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, you made a decision to manifest something long-term and stable with this karmic here. Mm -hmm. After you done wrapped up a cycle from the past, see what I'm saying? You finally let go of the past and move forward in a, in a higher level commitment with this karmic here after you let go of somebody from the past. Uh-huh, it came through self-love here. Uh-huh. Like I said, baby, you coming back around to this karmic after you let made this karmic wait until you figured it out. And you did. It's the majority of you. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Yeah, Seven of Cups and Ace of Cups. Yeah, that's the walking away. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Look, here we have the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. Movement forward. And then the Queen of Coins. Ooh. Somebody had a choice to move forward with you because it was good luck and good news. This was... This is a good investment. This is a really good investment. Investment in yourself and a good investment in this relationship here. Uh-huh. That choice was 